Hi, I'm Annie, and welcome to Obscene Boob Adventures, the Garbogus co-host channel for you, where you can find the most trashiest reads that you can read in August, but also after August. Garbogus is, is a month where we celebrate all kinds of pulp fiction. We not only read pulp fiction, but we also watch pulp and trashy films as well, for the bingo card at least. So Garbogus uh, is hosted uh, by Screaming, <laughs> Screaming Ollie, and uh, I will link his channel in the description box below. Uh, for this is the first episode in my Pulp Project series. No, it is not. It is the second episode in my Pulp Project series. So what is my Pulp Project series? Every uh, I read uh, one story, pulp story, for every every year, starting in 1890 and ending in the year now. So uh, I will uh, and as Garbogus, you can also uh, set yourself a challenge for Garbogus to read as for uh, pulp fiction from as many decades as you can, or watch from men as many decades as you can. But I am going to give you recommendations of one decade. So this is uh, the decade between. Uh, 1890 and 1900 and this is episode 2 in my pulp project and that is 1891 so uh, the prompt in for the second garbogus week that runs from the 11th uh, uh, the stars on the 11th uh, is category romance and I read a deputy governor's uh, wooing by André uh, Torri and I found this just a very very sweet romance story uh, it was first published in uh, English in short stories magazine of March 1891 it was translated by Isabel Smithson now I'm not really a romance enthusiast I must admit but uh, yeah like I said it this is really really a sweet story it's about Hubert uh, Boyneville who is the deputy governor of the title and when an old lady asks for financial support, he meets her daughter. And his bureaucratic heart melts and he doesn't even realize it. <laughs> it was such a sweet story. It's a, a, maybe it is so, such a sweet story because there Toyeri uh, used uh, to be a civil servant, civil servant himself all of his working life, alongside of his career as a writer. But he wrote books and short stories uh, that were mainly uh, set in uh, the country uh, or were about provincial life. A deputy governor's wooing starts slow and meanders along, and. I must admit, I don't mind it at all. If you like a nice, quiet, little romance story that warms your heart, uh, this is the story for you. So are you a romance reader? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what are your Garbogus picks? Are you participating in Garbogus? And what are you, your reading plans? for week two of Garbogus. Do let me know. Keep those pulp juices flowing and I hope to see you in the next video.